Hey guys, good morning. It is a new day here in Jamaica and we are doing an excursion today to Negril. This is gonna be an all day excursion, 12 hours. We're leaving the hotel at eight. We're not gonna get back uh, to the hotel until like eight tonight. So it takes about three, two and a half to three hours to get to Negril from where we're at. So it's like a long drive there, long drive back. We're supposed to be hitting Seven Mile Beach. And then I think we're going to Rick's Cafe, which is like a must do if you come to Jamaica for the cliff diving. Um, yesterday we just went to Martha Bray Rafting. We did that, that was amazing. That was like a short little excursion, about four hours. And then once we came back here, we kind of just chilled on the beach. We walked down to the nude beach um, at our hotel check that out a little bit and we kind of just chilled yesterday so today is going to be like a full day out and about so let's get ready to do this guys it's going to be a long day all right guys we just got to seven mile beach so um it was like a three hour drive to get here but super pretty and scenic like and it didn't feel that long because our tour guide was talking to us the whole time and we were like all joking and laughing um, so, but when we got here, we kind of like, he dropped us off at like a souvenir shop. We shopped a little bit and then right next door from that is Margaritaville. So, they dropped us off here. So, this is the Margaritaville. And then you can come out right onto the beach, right onto Seven Mile Beach. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't know if I wanted to come here because I'm like, do I want to leave my beach to come to another beach? Like, is it really worth it to come all the way out to the grill? But this is gorgeous, guys. Like, the beach we're at is nice, but this is like a different level. This is white sand, blue, 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 blue water. And then when the buses drop people off here, they actually had a catamaran here earlier that has taken off now. It's like all the way down here, but you can catch a catamaran from Margaritaville and that catamaran will take you around and then it'll eventually end up at Rick's Cafe. So if you don't want to just do the bus tour, you can just have the bus take you here and then you can catch the catamaran over to Rick's yourself instead of having the uh, the bus come and pick you up and bring you over there. But we're about to eat lunch at Margaritaville right now and then definitely hop in this water because it is beautiful. I'm dying to get in. So we just finished having lunch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, we just finished having lunch at Margaritaville and it was okay, like food was good, but like I'm in Jamaica. I wasn't really trying to eat American food. I really wanted like some Jamaican food, some jerk chicken, some, you know, patties or something, but that's where they dropped us off. We didn't know if there was like stuff to eat along the beach. So we just end up eating because we were really hungry. But I would have really preferred to have some Jamaican food. It's okay. So now we're just kind of like walking down the beach. It's so pretty. The water is warm, y'all. It's like bath water. It's so nice out here. I'm definitely gonna get inside the water in a bit. My mom's walking in the water right now. Now that I'm like walking down the beach a little bit, we're noticing that there were like tons of like bars 
and restaurants to eat at other than Margaritaville. So don't get conned like us because we wasn't sure what was down here. But the whole beach is like lined with like people selling stuff. And then they have like these beach clubs lining the beach, these little bars where you can go and grab food and drinks and stuff. I'm not sure how like authentic the food is. They're probably catering mostly to tourists, but still, you know. So there's like people like selling stuff. The water's like super calm. There's not too much waves. There's another. There's a whole nother like beach bar, shopping place down here. It's like one after the other, boom, boom, boom. So keep that in mind if you come out here. If you're gonna do the tour de the grill, I think that they always stop at Margaritaville, but you can walk down and there's other places to eat, other places to drink at. Don't just get stuck at one Americanized location. You guys, look at this. So this is one, section of the beach everything is clear beautiful beautiful skies you turn back this way it's completely dark cloudy looks like it's gonna be a huge storm isn't that crazy Look. clear sun's out buns out there's so many people out here uh, trying to get us to like do parasailing and um, like the different like banana boat tours and everything. If that's your jam, if that's the thing that you're into. You have ample opportunity when you come to Negril. There's people doing all types of excursions right here on the beach. are jumping from the cliffs so you can jump from here there's another spot like a little down here that you could jump there's a shorter spot down here that you could jump and I think this guy right here is about to jump from all the way up here all the way down here you guys I'm still trying to try to decide whether I want to do it or not I kind of want to do it from like this level over here my mom's like, don't do it from there, do it from down there. But, I mean, you only live once, right? So you just gotta like go for it. You just gotta do it if you're gonna do it. But I'm like, yo, this dude right here, like my heart, I'm like, my heart is beating for him. Like, I cannot believe he's about to do this. Oh my God, and it's like wobbly, you guys. Like the thing is like shaking. It's not even sturdy. No!
telling you guys, I just jumped. I just jumped from right here. Oh, my heart's racing. It was super, super fun though. Like the experience, the adrenaline I feel right now. But my top did come off. So ladies, if you're gonna do the jump, just to have a secure top. But this, this top ain't secure, okay? It's not for the jump. But we, we handled it well. We fixed ourselves, but definitely have a top that's gonna like <laughs> out for 12 hours we did the Negril tour all the way to Seven Mile Beach and then um, to Rick's Cafe so let's talk about that real quick this excursion was it worth it so it is a full day it took us about three hours to get there and three hours to get back so even though it's like a 12 hour excursion about six hours half of the trip you're in a car um, it wasn't too bad for us because like our tour guide, he was super funny. He was talking to us. There was another guy on the bus that like they were like making jokes and stuff. So the time kind of went by quick. I would say if you were just going to Seven Mile Beach, I do not think Negril is worth it. Uh, if you're staying on this end, like if you're in Runaway Bay in Ocho Cerritos, for the amount of time you're traveling just to go to a pretty beach, I didn't think it was worth it. I've been to like beautiful beaches all around the world. You've seen one, you know, white sand beach with nice water. you kind of seen them all. So I didn't think it was like super worth it just for that. And then they're kind of dropping you off in a touristy area like Margaritaville where you're going to be eating touristy American food. So if that's like not your thing, 
I don't think just for the beach it was worth it. But let's talk about Rick's Cafe because this to me is what made this trip worth it. Rick's Cafe is a must do if you come to Jamaica. It was a blast. It was so, so much fun. And I, I was thinking like, okay, it's just the bar. Like, is it really worth it? But like, it's more than a bar. Like there's the cliff jumping. So you can cliff jump. You can watch people cliff jump. There are people there um, that like work there that cliff jump professionally that like can do tricks and stuff so you can watch them. They have a pool there where you can hang out all day. They have cabanas that you could rent all day. And it's just like a huge party. Like there's a DJ there. They're entertaining you. They're having dance competitions with men and women. People are getting like, you know, people are drinking, people are eating. Like it was just a vibe. It was more so like a day club rather than just a bar. Like you're going to Rick's to party. If you want to have like a party day in um, Jamaica, that's where you go. Like that's where the party was at. It was a turn up, like it was high energy, super fun. And when we first got there, there wasn't too many people, but it got packed. It got super packed. And even if you're like someone who's like more on the chill end and you don't want like a, you know, lit lit time, like they have like a upstairs level where people were more so like chilling. And then you can just stay and watch the sunset. There's like a beautiful sunset that you can see from Rick's Cafe if you're not into all the, you know, da da da. But it was like, it was so fun. They was doing like a dance competition. And I was like, oh girl, if my mom wasn't here, I would have been twerking it and working it in that competition. But my mom wouldn't have cared, but you know. But I had like a blast anyway. They sang happy birthday to me because, you know, this week is my birthday. So it was just like a good vibe. And I definitely think for, if you're doing the Grill Beach, the Seven Mile Beach, and Rick's Cafe, it's worth it. If you're going out there just to do the beach and you're not staying like close by, like in the grill or in Montego Bay, don't bother with the beach, okay? Enjoy the beach at your hotel. Those are my final thoughts on the Negril excursion.